So in the last few videos, we've we've done a bunch of stuff here with this users form, and uh, we just tested it in the end of the last video. And I'd like to say that I planned for this, um, but uh, I didn't. But uh, I was I was kind of in the back of my head hoping that we would have some errors so that we could do some debugging anyway. So let's first let's take a look at our styling because that's something that we just worked on. And for some reason, our message is not being styled. Um, I do notice that we got user was added in there correctly, so it's not showing the old pages uh, word. However, let's go ahead and right click on this. If you're in Chrome, let's choose inspect element. I've got that on my second monitor. Let me go ahead and move that go ahead and dock that. There we go. I want to first make sure that our class and all that was entered in correctly. So we have P class equals BG dash danger. So let's look at bootstrap. Class equals BG dash danger. So we did that correctly but uh, I'm not sure why it didn't work. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that later. I really just wanted to make sure that we didn't have a typo or anything. But let's take a look at our actual errors. So I'm going to go ahead and close this developer tools here. And now let's look at our errors. So we have an error in our syntax, yada, 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 that's never really clear near this. So that, <laughs> that really helps, right? And that is why we always spit out our query. So for some reason, even though we were trying to insert, it's wanting to update. And it looks like we sent an ID equals. Aha. Okay, so we've got the update query running. And uh, I think I know how to solve that. And uh, according to some of the posts on YouTube, I think we have that problem on pages as well, where update is running when it should be an insert. So this fix should fix both. Um, while we're at it, I realized that uh, I completely missed a field for uh, email address. So let's go ahead and address all these things while we're at it. So first things first, let's put email address in here. So after last name, let's go ahead and copy this group. Paste it below. We'll do this really quick. We'll call this email address email 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 and email address okay so that's in there but before we go any further let's make sure we put that in our query so I'll go to queries.php Let's go ahead and do, just do this in order. So after last, we'll do email equals post email. Make sure that's in single quotes. And we do a comma. And we need to do this in our insert as well. So after last, we do email comma. And then after last over here in the values, we do post. Sorry, make sure that's in single quotes. We do post email and comma. So we've got that put in there where it needs to be. Let's go back to users.php and let's address the insert issue. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and we're just not going to even put this field here unless something has been opened. So we're going to do an if statement here. So let's go ahead and hit enter and above this we're going to do a PHP tags and in there we're going to do an if statement. So if we're going to do is set and parentheses and in those parentheses, we're going to do opened and ID. And then let's do our curly bracket, get rid of that closing curly bracket, and let's put it down here because we're going to break the PHP. So P 
PHP tags, close in curly bracket, and close the PHP. So we'll go ahead and save that, but let's go ahead and really quick go over to our pages view. Let's open that up and uh, actually go back to users first, and let's copy this whole if, because we're using the same uh, format with the uh, whole opened ID, etc. We can easily copy this, go over to pages, scroll down to that spot, and replace it with that. So there we go, save that, and go ahead and close pages. And let's think here. Let's look at our page here. So we took care of the email address, we put that in, we updated the query for the email address. Um, we're going to make sure our passwords actually match this time. And we're going to hope that it actually runs an insert query. And you know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and get rid of this annoying autocomplete. And go back to Optana. And for, we're going to do this on a couple of these. Let's do, just at the end after placeholder, we'll do autocomplete. Equals, no, sorry, that should be off. And we'll go ahead and copy this along with the space, and we'll put this on last name, email address, and password, and password. We'll save that. Hop back over to our page. Let's go ahead and click on new user again. There we go, we've got all the right things in here. Do first name, John, last name, Doe, email address. We'll just do John at doe.com. Status inactive, password is password. Spell it right and verify it as password. Spell this one right and Hopefully everything works. User was added. Let's go ahead and check out our database. Do browse. And there it is. Status is zero because we set that to inactive. Password matches all the other ones because we've been giving it the same password. And the only thing that's probably going to look different on yours is the ID number is five. And that's because I did some tests while the video was on pause and I deleted the record once I figured it out.